you're in the military. What do you do? Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm an LVN. I work. Uh, I'm a nurse. So okay. yeah. So what do you think of Donald Trump's strike in Syria? Oh my God! I haven't followed the news yet. Yeah, I'm so blind. Like seriously, I haven't followed the news at all. Well, I'm glad you're willing to admit it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't followed the news at all. I've been just like busy with work and everything. Okay, well, let me give you the basic yeah. breakdown. There was an alleged chemical weapons attack okay. in Syria last week where 42 civilians supposedly died, although the proof on this was pretty thin. Okay. Donald Trump, who has said over and over and over again, we shouldn't get involved in Syria, we shouldn't be bombing Syria, we shouldn't have the U.S. military involved in foreign adventurism. He says, well, there's 42 dead civilians, we're going to go attack, and starts a bombing campaign in Syria. So do you, do you have any response to that? I mean, because you're, you're in the army, you might be... I haven't followed the news at all. Like, seriously, I don't even, like, know anything. Seriously. I, I'm a... He's been in Vegas, drunk off his yeah. off his ass for three weeks, enjoying his leave. No, it hasn't been that long, has it? No, it's been like I got here like yesterday, so. Okay, but, yeah. so, so you really have no excuse no. for not paying attention. Yeah. Okay. Well, one of the things that, that really bothered me when I was in the military, and, and I, I didn't really act on this, and I really regret it, was that we would just blindly follow orders mm -hmm. and you know go in and do what we were told regardless of whether it was legal or not and whether or not it was proportionate whether or not it was justified and right now we have um you know, you know a military action underway that's clearly unconstitutional because donald trump did not get congressional approval for the strike in syria so now now i'm going to really put you on the spot you what did you swear an oath to when you enlisted yeah to the flag and the people no what was that how long ago, you're 25, how long ago did you enlist? Oh, like two years ago. Two years yeah. ago. Yeah. Okay, remember you, you, you raise your right hand at, at, at MEPS and you swear an oath to? Yeah. To United States and the, what was it, the flag? Yeah, the people? Support and defend the Constitution yeah. of the United States of America against yeah. all enemies, foreign and domestic. Yeah, yeah, that, right. yeah. So if Donald Trump is doing something unconstitutional, he's a domestic enemy of the Constitution. Yeah. And you have a duty now, according to your oath, the highest law of the land that is higher than yours. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to get you in trouble here. I'm going to change the conversation a little bit. Don't worry. I know you're going to like, you, you, you have to go take out President Trump. No, 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 no. That's not where we're going with this. But I would like you to think that if you were ordered to deploy in, into a, a situation that was unconstitutional, that was illegal, especially if you were asked to do something that was unethical, like I was in Iraq, that you would have the courage to resist unlawful orders. But I want to ask you just to change gears a little bit here. 42 people in Syria allegedly killed by this chemical weapons attack. Do you know how many veterans commit suicide every day in America? Uh, 20. Yeah. 20 veteran suicides every day in this country. Why do you think that is? It's the PTSD. It's the war. Like, yeah, yeah the things they've been through. So do you know what the best treatments for PTSD are? Uh, hmm. Oh, I have like Here's a clue. Yeah. They're all illegal. Oh, oh, the drugs you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Well, aside from talk therapy, talking is still yeah. legal, and that's that's essential to getting to dealing with PTSD. And I'm, I I dealt with this myself because you know I was in Fallujah in 2004. But marijuana is a good symptomatic treatment for PTSD. Uh, MDMA, also known as Molly or ecstasy, right, in its street form, is, has been proven to be a, a legitimate treatment for PTSD that's been kept illegal. Okay. We have psilocybin mushrooms. You know, mushrooms are illegal too. I'm sure in the military, how many times have they told you, don't do drugs, these will get you in trouble? Say every day. Yeah, every, every day. day. Every day. It's a every, every weekend at least, right? Yeah. yeah. Before you go out. Yeah, it's like a safety brief every right. week. Safety brief. Yeah. For your own safety, go get drunk. Don't smoke weed. That sounds very dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> now, now, are you now you're in you're in Las Vegas right now, and recreational marijuana is legal here. Are you allowed to smoke while you're here in the military? No, 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 never. Uh, Do you follow federal law? Uh, it's the army. Like well, yeah. I can't go. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Well, you're you're also you're stationed in Washington State. Yeah, like it's illegal as well, uh, over there as well. But like yeah, we don't use it. Yeah. Does that bother you at all that you're in the military and they say you can drink? Uh -huh. But you can't smoke weed even where it's legal? Well, I'm not, in, not big, a, big of a drinker or like a smoker, so it doesn't bother me at all. Oh, so what's your drug? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. Gambling? No, I, I, I haven't even like play, <laughs> played anything. I'm just like, yeah, just do my job thing and like, yeah. All right, well, in Donald Trump's State of the Union this year, mm -hmm. he said 
that he wanted patients who were suffering from terminal diseases to be able to go and pursue those experimental treatments that would be illegal otherwise in the United States without having to leave the country. Oh, wow. But he didn't say anything about veterans. He didn't say anything about PTSD. He didn't say anything about ending the drug war or allowing marijuana, MDMA, or mushrooms to be available for veterans who are suicidal. And yet he sees 42 people allegedly killed in Syria, and he wants to go and send bombs into Syria instead of doing something about 20 veterans committing suicide every single day in this country. You see there's a bit of a contradiction there. What does that tell you about your commander in chief? I don't know. No comments, I think? Yeah. Is that, is that the politically correct answer? Uh, no, I mean, like, I have, my own, I have my own opinions, but yeah. But like, he is a, he's a man of uh, himself, so it's his. Well, I want, I'll just give you one last opportunity here. Is there something that you would want to say to President Trump about the issue of veteran suicides or going into Syria unconstitutionally instead of taking care of uh, the veterans here at home when they get out of the military? Uh, well, I don't know <laughs> what to say to him. I had to say to him, uh, yeah, let's take the problem of home seriously first than doing anything about the things that's going outside. Yeah, we have to take care of home first, I think, yeah. That's fine. That's, that's. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for your time today, brother. Really appreciate it. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.